All right, guys, so we're going to make a, a quick video here. Uh, I know I said I was almost done with stuff, and uh, but uh, there's some new changes coming out to Fantasy Grounds, and so, you know, I had to start working on the combat tracker, so I decided to just completely revamp it. And then um, I started to go ahead and just do effects, too. So I, I re ended up redoing a lot of the effects, especially for attacks, damage, uh, spells. Um, so we're going to go over that a little bit. Um, this is actually my second attempt to make up a video. Somehow I uh, I spent about six hours working on this, and somehow I saved it to a different file. So when I started making the video, like nothing worked, and I went and looked at my work and copy, and all the work I did was gone. <laughs> and I almost like just threw my computer against the wall. Uh, fortunately, I realized what I had done. So uh, we're gonna try this again. So I stuck um, two edge cases on here. I'm going to call it edge cases. They're probably the most unique type monsters. One is a mummy. So a mummy is pretty much resistant to everything um, or immune to everything except for he's resistant to fire and magic. Okay. And so uh, if you look at the mummy, I actually fixed him in the book. It's going to have all this stuff right here. And um, the other one is a clay golem. He's a little bit unique because uh, he can only be harmed by magical blunt weapons. Okay, and so before we actually couldn't automate this, I made like this MacGyver way to automate this, but um, now it's like super smooth. So um, I've got a couple of weapons here on this uh, this test character. Um, I have an effect on here. This is a we have some conditionals that we can use now. So uh, we can use type, and type's going to be like monster type. So you know he's a construct. And you can see that represented on his tag. I went in and updated the tomes, so all the humanoids, the beasts, you know, reptiles have been in there. Um, uh, all of the the big ones, so like oozes, they've all they all have tags on them now. Um, you know, it doesn't the the tome really doesn't tell you what something is, so it's kind of like whatever Bane thinks. So some of them that aren't updated, um, and some of them you can kind of you know. Uh, probably do it as you go along if, if, it, if it's applied um, the other one is size and so it's automated for size now so um, if you had a uh, you know plus two dagger plus three against larger than man sized creatures um, you know you could you could have there's an effect for that uh, that effect would look something like this you would say uh, ift colon size and then in this case we're going to go greater than medium all right, so that's going to say any creature that's bigger than medium, right, we're going to get a uh, damage effect. One. All right. Now, and these all these all stack, so, um, and I'll actually try it on the zombie. So how these, I, these IFT ones work is it's one effect per line. So if you, like this dagger, if you had this dagger that was plus three against larger creatures and it applied to attack and damage, you would have to have a second effect for the, the attack, all right? So just be aware of that. So I can show you how this works. So in this case, um, we have a frost brand. It is a uh, magic slashing cold. So if I try to attack the mummy, it's gonna be immune because of the cold. If I try to attack the golem, it's not blunt, so he's also gonna be immune. Um, I could take this sword that's plus three undead. This is a slayer weapon. Now with this sword, I should get the slayer flecked, which is plus three. I should also get the um, plus two, so it should be plus five. Okay, and it is. Now if I go in here and I say, I'm actually, I'm going to do huge. I actually haven't tested huge. <laughs> it should be the same, but it's, you know, large. I've done large. So now I should get an additional one. Let's see. And I did see I got an additional one. So uh, that's kind of handy. The other one that you have is alignment. So we could say IFT colon align. These, in, if these look familiar, it's exactly like you'd see in 5e. Um, in this case, it's going to be, um, let's say, chaos. All right. So a little different than 5e, right? This is a BX, so everything's different. And let's say in this case, he's going to get an attack of three. So um, if I attack this, uh, so let's do this one. So it's going to be plus three, so it's going to be a slayer weapon. So it should be a total of six on the attack. And it is. But if I attack the construct, it should be a three. No, it should be a one. 
Yeah, so it should be a one. So pretty slick, right? All right. Um, all right, so then if I do damage, we're going to do uh, damage on the mummy. It should be a plus five on the damage. Uh, let's plus six. What? It's three and two. Oh, because of the medium size. That's right. Okay, so yep. All right, so that's right. Now, um, and again, like if I attack the golem, no big deal. But if I use the mace on the golem, it's going to work. Okay, because it's blood. So, uh, uh, the other thing I added, I'll just go over it real quick, is um, if you do a damage type and you just do magic, this could be any damage type. So, it could be acid, fire, cold, magic. All right, this is going to make any, any weapon attack um, magic. So, we're just going to give him a plain old club. All right, and now if I hit him with this club... It should do damage because it's magic, right? If I take this away and I hit him with this club, he's immune, all right? Uh, the other thing I did was um, if you do damage 1d6, it's going to it's gonna roll a dice, so it's going to be variable. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. There's some other things that are kind of built in that I haven't implemented. Um, I'm basically going to let people try these out, get some feedback, and then if people have other requests, I can start turning things on. What those things are, I'm not telling you. I only want to work on stuff and implement things that I think people are going to use. This is BX, so it's not as definitely not as detailed as like Pathfinder or whatever. So okay, so that's in there, and you'll notice this frost brand. I went in and added a light effect to it. It's a blue, it's gonna give you a blue light. Um, but there's a whole lot of things you could do with this. Um, you know, you can uh, do a damage type fire, or you can have put, if you have a sword that's like a torch, it's gonna to have fire here on properties, okay? So uh, lots lots you can do. I think I went over the versatile thing last time where you can you can update that. Um, so that's that's pretty much what the combat tracker looks like. One thing you'll notice, uh, watch as I advance. There's a little button here I was using to test. It's going to go away. You can see it opens it up automatically. So that's going to make it easier for you. You can see the movements now included on there. Um, you can see if I open this up, I could see, um, let's do this guy. You can see it's all kind of written down here, easy to read. The saves are all rollable. The initiative's rollable. Um, just like before. If he has spells, the spells are all going to be underneath this, like on the mummy. I'll show you. He'll, he'll have the spells. It'll keep expanding. So um, I think it's going to be a little easier to use. I think we can do a lot more things with it. Um, everything else still works the same, like uh, the halfling size bonus is all automated. The uh, Bane weapons, all that's automated. These are just uh, additional things we can now do, and they all combine. Um, I do want to go over records. So if you have a record, well, that's a bad example because it's, it's, you can see, but you can see how I changed the, the, the format a little bit. Um, I think it looks a little bit better, easier to read. It's more what everybody's used to, but you can see on weapons, there's a property tab on here where you can add what the, uh, what the damage types are. Okay. And if I look at a spell record here, um, it's changed a little bit. Um, you can see that it also has properties. So acid fog does acid and magic, and um, that that all is fully implemented with the effects. Okay. I also went in and opened up this field, so you can type anything you want in there. All right. So it doesn't have to be this little selector anymore. Um, these are just expandable fields. So plenty of room in these now. All right, so that's it. A little nine-minute video. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, let me know. Thanks.